Thank you for watching CTR TV. I'm Christy Olds with your five in five. Get up to speed on five topics in five minutes. CTR's Democratic gubernatorial primary debate is this Thursday, July 12th at the Schubert Theater in New Haven. If you haven't already reserved your seat, you can do that today by going to ctrealtors.com slash debate. For those who plan to attend, here are a few things to keep in mind. Doors to the event open at 5 o'clock for realtors and their guests to enjoy complimentary food and drinks. Bars and food stations will be set up on both the main level and the second level of the lobby. Attendees must start heading to their seats at 6.15 so everyone can be seated by 6.30. Doors to the lower level of the theater will close at 6.30. Anyone who arrives after that time will be directed to the upper levels of the theater for seating. You can take drinks, but no food into the theater. All those details are listed at ctrealtors.com slash debate. The party primaries are about a month away. They're on Tuesday, August 14th, and CTR encourages all realtors to take part in the voting process. You must be registered as either a Democrat or a Republican to vote in the respective party primaries. To check your current voter registration status, go to ctrealtors.com vote and follow the voter registration lookup link. That site asks you to enter your town, your name, and your birth date and will then provide your voter registration status. You are encouraged to make sure your party affiliation and your municipality are accurate. CTR's Director of Political Advocacy, Mike Smith, says it is important for realtors to make sure everything is up to date. Once you check your voter registration status and it's not a, you realize it's not up to date or not, it doesn't reflect the party which you'd like to be enrolled with, you can go to the vo online voter registration website as long as you have a Connecticut driver's license and register to vote and update your registration right there. You can also update your registration at your local Registrar of Voters office. If you are not registered or unaffiliated, you can follow the link at ctrealtors.com vote to get to the state's online voter registration system. NAR's upcoming annual conference in Boston has a schedule full of seminars, networking sessions, and educational opportunities, but it also includes some special events, including the first ever Realtors Relief Run. It's a 5K run and walk around Boston that starts and ends at the Boston Common. The event raises money for the Realtor Relief Fund and other charities that help the homeless. Massachusetts Realtor Gary Rogers is the co-chair of the NAR Conference Committee. He's from Boston and encourages everyone to register for the run, whether you want to run, walk, or just cheer everyone on. It's a great cause. So please join me, your fellow New Englanders, and realtors from across the country in participating in this race. You can sign up to join Team Connecticut or any other team listed. Go to reliefrun.realtor for more information and to register. Safety issues are always a concern for realtors, which is why it's a good idea to review some tips to keep in mind as you conduct business. Do not do open houses alone. Always try to have somebody with them. Always try to get a buyer into the office before you go out to show them property. Linda Fercadini teaches realtor safety courses. She says she stresses the importance of agents letting others in their office know where they are going and who they're meeting with. She also recommends setting up a code word that you can say during a call to the office to let them know you're in a bad situation and need help. Another safety tip is to do a quick internet search of the potential client to look for any red flags. Fercadini says you need to trust yourself in any situation. What I usually do is stress to them that their instinct is so important. So if it doesn't feel right, if something feels wrong to them, get out of the situation immediately. Bergadini recommends that every office set up safety procedures and policies and talk about them often. For more realtor safety information, go to ctrealtors.com safety. CTR will be rolling out a new series on fair housing in recognition of the 50th anniversary of the Fair Housing Act. The National Association of Realtors has a number of resources for companies and realtors to use, including a fair housing declaration you can print and post in your office. You can find it online at realtors.org and search for Fair Housing Declaration. That is your 5 and 5. I'm Christy Olds for CTR-TV.